Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to discuss how to algebraically find the median and a midpoint. Now, in some cases, the median and midpoint are can be the same depending on what the scenario happens to be. But in order to find the median, you have to be sure that the numbers are written in order from lowest to highest. So, for example, if you have a series of values such as 7, 9, 0, 3, and 4, for example, you have to be sure the numbers are in are in order from lowest to highest, so you have to rewrite it as 0, 3, 4, 7, and 9. Now the median, if you have an odd number of figures, you just pick the one that's directly in the middle, and in this case that's the number 4, so that's the median. That's the number in the middle, the quote-unquote midpoint, if you will. However, if you have an even number of figures, it's a little bit different. So for example, if you had 0, 3, 4, 7, 9, and let's just say 10, if you have an even number of figures, what you want to do is Assuming that it's written from lowest to highest, you take the middle two and you find the average. So what you're doing is you're taking the four, you're adding the seven, and divide by two. So that's 11 over two, which ends up being 5.5. And that number is your median. So depending on the situation, the median is the number right in the middle. If you have a number, if you have an odd number of figures, but if you have an even number of figures, the median is the average of the middle two, not so much the midpoint per se. So I'm Jimmy Chang and that's how to algebraically find the median in the midpoint.